Differentiation is a topic that we are going to handle, but please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay. Differentiation in most cases is used to define gradients or functions, but we are going to see that we can use differentiation more and more times, like find many things, red soap, change, and so on. So let us start with how can we define a differentiation as a topic we have today. So this is a method that is used to find gradient, a gradient of a function at a given point. We can always differentiate using the power rule or using the function notation. We are going to see the next lesson how do we get this function notation. It's a method that we use to differentiate from first principles. Let us now see depreciation using power rule. Consider function f of x equaling to y. Differentiate y with respect to x, we get if I have this y equal to this, when I depreciate y, I also depreciate this side. When we depreciate, we depreciate both sides. But this shows I'm depreciating y, this shows that I'm depreciating f of x. So when I depreciate y, I get 1. When I depreciate this, this shows that I'm depreciating. Now, when you are depreciating the function, so that we have depreciated it, we use a prime that shows that we have depreciated it. Now, this one I'm depreciating with respect to x. I'm depreciating this y with respect to y. This is I'm depreciating y. This shows that I'm depreciating a function of x. Now, if I write this one by dx, both sides, I get this. So, always together, this is what we call our first derivative. And in terms of a function, this is what we call the first derivative of a function. For it, show that we are depreciating using a prime. This one is called a prime. So, f prime shows that we have depreciated that function. The y dx is the differential coefficient. We shall see most of this in differential equations. But this one is called the differential coefficient of degree 1. Note, y is equal to this. When you differentiate this, is what we call the first derivative. If you further differentiate the second time, we call the second derivative. If you go further, the third derivative, and you can differentiate any at to the end term of that function or that uh, equation. So if y is equal to this, now this is what we call the power rule. How do we use the power rule? So if I have y equal to x power m, differentiate this, you get this power, you multiply it with the function, then you reduce the power by 1. So start the original power, multiply that function, then reduce this power by 1. So power m then minus 1. We, when we differentiate a constant, we get a zero. So whenever you differentiate a constant, this constant can be a fraction, can be a positive, can be a negative. Whenever you differentiate it, we get a zero. Differentiate the following. Let us see how we can do these numbers. So, differentiate this is it's a function of y and x. So the differentiate it, we are going to get the y the x as we saw in this. Okay, so now my y dx, my y dx is going to be, I get the power, I multiply it here, so I have 3, now x. Then, after that, I reduce this power by 1. By 1, like that. And so my answer will be 3x power 2. So now we have, we have depreciated that function like that. When I come to this, the same idea. It's a function of y and the x. So I'm going to get the dy dx. So now when I finish this, I get dy dx equal to 2. I get this power, I don't write it first. Then I get the same power, I reduce it by 1, as you've seen there. So now this will give me a negative 5. Then x minus 5 minus 1, you get a negative 6. And so we have differentiated that uh, function. When I count this, is that we have this a constant. And we say the moment we differentiate a constant, we get a zero. So let us see. We have two functions now. We differentiate them separately. I mean at once. So y and x. So this is going to be y 
the x equal to 2. So this one is power 1. This one times 5, so we get 5. Then we get x1 minus 1. Then plus, when we double check the 3, we get the 0y, because the 3 is a constant. And you can see that this is going to give us 5 power x power 0. So now our new one, the x but n number power 0 is our 1. So 1 times 5, that's when we get a 5. So whenever I differentiate a function, I mean a variable x with power 1 or t power 1, you get the coefficient, it's the only thing surviving if its highest, highest power is 1. Simple as that. So that's how we handle the university 3. When I come down this, you see that this one is now a function of y and t. So our first deliver, I mean our differential coefficient is going to be the y, the t. The y, the t. Or is this one? It's going to be already out. So now, my y, the t is going to be, now this is not price this. So, 2, 4 times 2. Then I reduce it 2 by 1. Then minus. This is t power 1. When I need to reduce it by 1, it becomes t power 0. The number of power 0 is then the 1. It adds times this. You get a 5. Then plus. When I need to check a constant, I get a 0. So now my function, y dt, is going to be 8t minus 5. So that's how we get it. Now, I think we have got how we get the power and multiply the coefficients here. We get the power and multiply by this. We get the power and multiply by this. So that's how we differentiate that. Now let me do it now in one step and you see. Now so this is the function. What we do, we get our f prime of x equal to 2. This power of price is, I get 12. Then x, I reduce it by 1, to get 3. Then minus. This power of price is, to get 10. Then I reduce this power by 1, to get 1. Then plus, 1 more price of 3, so we get a 3. I reduce it by 1, to be x power 0. And x power 0 is 1. So 1 times 3, I get that. So now, my f prime of x now is going to be. 12x cubed minus 10x, then plus 3, and that will be our answer. Now, when I add this, you see that, let me first handle this, then I come to that one. Now, when the moment you start we have a function in the denominator, you start our power rule works if we have the power when this one is in the numerator. So, I take it up. This is the power, but you can differentiate this one using some methods we shall see there. So, I first take this up. So, we have now y equal to t. Remember, in this is, if we have a number 1 over a, remember, if we have 1 over a power n, the same one is the power negative n. In this is. So, now, when I take this 2 up, it's going to become negative 2. I take it up there. So this one is going to multiply this. So now it's a function of y and t. So my y, the t, will be lower this, negative 2. Then reduce this by 1. When you subtract 1, it's going to be a negative 3. And there we have the equation. That's it. Now we can take this one down if we want. So if you can take it as a negative 2, when this one goes down, the power changes to now positive. Like that. So it's up to you whether you leave it there or you take this power down. When you take the negative power down, it becomes a positive, but this too, or it is up. Now, when I come to this case, now it's that I have such a case here, I'm going to also take it up to find the patient. So my y will be x squared, this is okay, but this one is not okay. So x power negative 3. Now, everything is up. So I can differentiate now function of y and x. So the y, the x will be, now this will be 2x. You know the power is the power by 1. 2 minus 1, I get 1. Then this times this, I get now plus this negative times the negative, plus 3. This is by 1, you get x power 4 like that. If you reduce the negative, it is 1. When I add this now, we take t up. Remember, it's power 1. So now my f of t 
will be equal to 2, 3, 3, 5, that is 1. So now my a prime of t now will be this time and this will be negative 3, then the this, this by 1 gets negative 2. And you can see I can write it as now I take this down to power t power 2. So remember that's how this study. We apply the power rule to differentiate. Now we are going to see how we differentiate functions from past principles or using the function notation. I wish you well.